In this video, we're going to do some questions using the formal definition of the derivative. So if we have f of x is equal to mx plus b, and I want to find f prime of x using the definition of the derivative. So we're going to have the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, so we can do some substitution here. This will be the limit as h goes to 0. Well, we plug in f of x plus h, so we're going to get m times x plus h plus b minus f of x, which will be mx plus b all over h. So this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0. If we expand this out, we're going to get mx plus mh plus b minus mx minus b all over h. So this is the limit as h goes to 0. We can do some cancellation. The mx's will cancel, the m or the b's will cancel. So we'll be left with mh over h. Okay, now the h's will cancel here. So we're left with the limit as h goes to 0 of m, which is just equal to m. So of course we know the derivative uh, mx plus b, m is the slope, and of course the derivative is the tangent line, so of course we find that the slope is equal to the tangent line, that makes sense. Okay, question number two, f of x is equal to x to the three halves. We want to use the definition of the derivative to solve this one as well. Okay, so do the same thing as before, the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h. So this is going to be x plus h to the 3 halves minus x to the 3 halves all over h. Okay, so a little bit more complicated than the last one for sure. Okay, so let's expand this a little bit. So we want the limit as h goes to 0. Well, what we'll do is we're going to take we're going to cube it first. So when we cube it, we're going to get x cubed plus, well, we're going to get 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed. Okay, and this is, of course, we need to take the square root of this still. That's the square root. And we subtract, well, h cubed, then the square root, this is the square root of x cubed, and this is all over h. Okay, so at this point what we can do is we can continue on, so the limit as h goes to 0. So now we have all these things that we need to square and cube, so we can multiply by the conjugate. Okay, so again a little bit lengthy here, but if we multiply by the conjugate, this is just going to be x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed, and then we add the square root of x cubed, and this is all over the same thing. So x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed plus the square root of x cubed. Okay, so on the top, when we do some expanding, we're going to be left with x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed minus x cubed. And then on the bottom, we're going to have h multiplied by that big mess on the bottom. Um, I guess I'll write it in again. And then we'll just start simplifying this one, so I don't have to rewrite it so many times. x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed plus the square root of x cubed. Okay, so on the top we have x cubed minus x cubed, so those will cancel out. Okay, and then what we can do is we can factor out an h. So we can take an h out. And this means that we'll get rid of the h here. This will be an h. This will be h squared. And now we can cancel these on the top and bottom. 
So when we plug in h is equal to zero now, we're going to get on the top 3x squared plus 3x times zero is zero plus zero squared is zero. So the top will be 3x squared. The bottom, we're going to get the square root of x cubed plus 3x squared times 0 is 0 plus 3x times 0 squared is 0 plus 0 cubed is 0. So this will just be plus the square root of x cubed. And this will be plus the square root of x cubed. So we're going to be left with, well, 3x squared over 2x to the 3 halves. So if we do some simplification here, we're going to be left with 3 halves times x to the 1 half. Okay, very complicated algebra, but we have solved it, and we do know that the derivative of x to the 3 halves is 3 halves x to the 1 half. This is just the power rule. So, this is probably the most complicated algebra you're ever going to get on an exam with limits. Uh, not fun to do, a lot of terms to write out, but hopefully you followed along. If there's any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them.